what it do on this episode we're going to talk about our reaction to the Tyree Nichols funeral we also going to talk about that student facing criminal charges for breaking her teacher's leg also have you heard Pam Anderson alleges Tim Allen flashed her back in their home improvement days but he's denying it I don't know I don't know also we're going to talk about Ed Reed getting fired before he even got hired and Big Lotto. You know about Big Lotto. She's selling them drawers on eBay and making that guap. But you know about that. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and do what it do, baby. Let's get it. What's good, Josh? Your man, DJ Playboy, back with another episode of the Perfect Talk Podcast, man. It's a new year. February, matter of fact, Black History Month. You know, I got to have one of my favorite black people in the building, man. My guy, my partner, Spec. What it do, brother? Yes, sir. How's it going, Black? Happy February, brother. Happy Black History Month. <laughs> we here, man. We made it. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, man. We was talking right before the pod, man. Spec just got here. And first of all, it's one of the coldest days of the year. Shout out. <laughs> I got to commend you for making the trip over here, Negative bro. degrees outside. That wind chill is beast, bro. I was, uh, I was at a supermarket earlier. And it, we were, I'm like sitting in the car and I'm like, what is that sound? Like, I think it's a truck or something like that making a delivery. And I look to my Where? left. <laughs> it's the, uh, you know, the cart carousel where, where they put the carts yeah. at. That joint is just going it like moving. Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it felt like some Jurassic Park. It was like, it's supposed to move, bro. What's going on here? But, uh, yeah, no, it was, that's, it was that level of windy out there. Yeah, it's I was crazy like, yeah. out there right now. I was like, let me get home before I get hit in the head with something, man. I ain't, I ain't with that today, man. But, uh, yeah, I think we were both saying it's been one of those weeks, man. Just ready to, ready to end it. Long week. <laughs> ready for the week TGIF. to end. TGIF. I, uh, I was sick this, this earlier this week. The kid was sick. Um, we both uh, passed our COVID test with flying colors. You know what I mean? Clean. So she got to go back to school the next day. So I'm like, but it's just, just like a regular, like, cold, cold. Yeah. But it's uh, had me down for a day, and then I was like, and then I was like uh, back at it. But it definitely it, it, it hit your boy. Uh, I was glad it wasn't COVID though, because I was like, I, I still, I mean, I guess you know, knock on wood, never really, uh, <laughs> you know, what I mean, get dealt, dealt with that or what the the consequences of that would, would be. But this shit alone was like, you know, what I mean, just for, it was just for one day, but it was still like, you know, it's been a minute. Right. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been taken down. So, and then. Uh, let me see. So she had to stay home that day, and then just dealing with everything that's going on through the week, man. Being down that day, you know, not able to work or whatever, it's just, it, it, it's just, a, it's one of those weeks, man. One of those weeks, bro. Yes. Glad it's come to an end. <laughs> There's been a lot happening, though, man. Let me see in the news, man. Been a lot going on. Uh, but first, I wanted to get your opinion on the uh, the Tyree Nichols joint, because uh, me and Keith spoke about it. You know, what I mean, it was the first time. In a while, you know what I mean, seeing a video like that, but obviously not our first time seeing it. It's just one of many in our lifetime. It probably won't be the last, um, right. and definitely wasn't the first. But it uh, was different because it wasn't like a shooting, like a lot of the recent videos have been. Uh, it was an actual beating, you know what I mean? And, uh, yeah, yeah. It was weird. Uh, but I want to get your opinion on it, just give you the chance to talk about it. I know the funeral uh, proceedings were this week. Oh, yeah, it was earlier uh, this week. And Vice President Harris. Was it, was it a closed casket or open casket? That I don't know. Ooh, mm-hmm. good question. I should look that up. I, I don't have no idea. But uh, I mean, you seen the picture of him when he was in the hospital? Yeah, I seen that. That was a pretty bad picture. So yeah, I don't know. That that's it's just even a tragic thing like this uh, to even have to ponder that question, right? <laughs> that's that's pretty. But like I said, I'll step to the side. I'll let you just give your opinion on how you so feel when you see the Emmett, video. Some Emmett Till shit. For real, on some Emmett Till shit. Yeah, on some G shit. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of what it reminds you of. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's why when you said it, all of my, oh, do they have an open casket? Because mm-hmm. I know Emmett Till had the open casket. Yeah, 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 the show. Right? Yeah, 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 so. That's you see that movie? That, that movie was I've just I've never watched too. it. Nah. You saw it? I'm not with movies like that. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Like, and I should be, right? Like, I feel like we've heard about these things, right, um, in a historical context. Probably not in detail. Right. And I don't know. I'm not big. I haven't, I've never seen Selma. Like, you know, I think that's the Martin Luther King joint. I've never seen 42. Uh, as Jackie Robinson, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I like those movies. Um, I just, I like movies in general. Yeah. I just never get a chance to actually go and, yeah. you know. But I, I do have interest in those things, but it's just... Even like, in the Will Smith one, the slavery one? Yeah, I haven't I seen see. that. Yeah. But, um, no, but like I said, to, to yeah, what's going on now, uh, modern day, you know what I mean? How did you feel when you seen that video? I mean, when I first seen it, I was just... I, w- I was shocked because mm-hmm. I'm like, wow. I mean, they they really they they 
they put a whooping on them bad. Like, yeah, that's the next. Yeah. Um, and I mean, there's obviously, you know, was he resisting? Was he not resisting? Um, that has nothing to do with, you know, they, they still beat his ass uh, bad, regardless of whether or not he was resisting. Um, I know after that, once they got to that second, the second time they stopped him, I mean, it was obviously excessive at that point. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it was excessive to start out with. You know, as soon as they pulled them over, they just yanked them out the car and whatnot. So they was wrong from Cursing. the get. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's just certainly unfortunate. Um, yeah, I mean, glad they got fired. Um, and now they're going to be facing, you know, they're going to have to face jail time. And I'm, I'm sure, it, I would like to think it's going to be an open and shut case. Um, cause there's no evidence of the traffic stop in terms of, you know, they said the it was reckless driving. Yeah. I mean, it, it, I just don't see how they get off on this one. So, I mean, I expect them to do some time. How much? Who knows? We've had that feeling before though, right? Like, and, and it hasn't always worked out. Yeah, I mean, but you see, in those other situations, there's always some other things going on. Um, <laughs> the the cops' actions are always wrong, but there's also some there's always some other things going on. In this situation, like I said, I, nothing they did was warranted. Nothing he did warranted the response. I also um, think because they're black, they don't have that protection of the blue, right? Like Ben Crump was on the radio. And I, I have no sympathy for these. I'm actually glad it's black that they were black cops just to because, you know, people are always quick to make it. It's always. not even about race. I mean, you know, whether you're black cop, white cop, they all do this type of shit. It's the culture of policing. It's yeah, the yeah, culture yeah. of policing rap more than it is black and white. But uh, like I said, Ben Crump, he that's that's the, yeah, the representative the for the family. Yeah. Um, fam he's famous, right? He's he's a uh, representative uh, George Floyd's family, I yep. believe, in uh, many other cases. Um, you got a um, civil rights case. He's the dude. He's the dude to call. Yeah, he's the new Al Sharpton, right? He's, the new, he's that guy, right? But uh, he said this is the this is record numbers. Twenty two days to be fired and arrested for police. Like usually these investigations is going on months. Right. Yeah, he's like yo, they're pushing it months, sometimes years, right? Like remember the kid in Cleveland. That was playing with the toy gun. They ran yeah, out. Yeah, that yeah, was a two yeah, year, yeah. two year investigation and some crazy shit. I remember, like when LeBron was talking about, it, I was like, I had to remember when it was happening. Like I was like, oh shit. So he's like, yo, it's a new precedent set. How, you know, it was the black cops. I got them out of there in twenty two days. Oh, uh, so he's like. <laughs> but it's true though. I feel like, like I don't feel like these guys have that same protection of the blue that I've seen other people having. Even the white cop that this week, right? I believe was let go. Um, and he wasn't even fully fired. He was, uh... What, what are we talking... Uh, so... Shot. No, no, in the, in the same Tyree Nichols case, I remember in the video, there's a white cop that shoots oh, a taser at him. Yeah, it's, yeah, but it's not all the same, though. Like, he... So, he shot the taser. Him, I don't think what he did, like... So, they were trying to apprehend him. The white cop that, that came in, I don't know that he did... I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't... Did he lose his job, or was he just... He's like, uh, placed on leave. Yeah, placed on leave. Exactly. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if he keeps his job. I mean, because oh, he will keep his job, but I think that's the point. Because that's what I'm saying. Like, he he employed his taser, which he should have did, because the officers was obviously on that first stop, having a tough time getting this dude down. So he employed his taser. Obviously, it didn't work, mm -hmm. and that was the extent of his involvement. He did make some comments. Like I hope they stomp his ass that's when what they said, catch him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but that's not that's not warranted Fire firing. I, I think mean, what, what what makes it funny is they weren't gonna do anything to him until people made an uproar. And not only him, um, because at, at first EMT it was only workers. the five officers. Yeah, now because um, they the ones who did the beating. Correct. But once the video came out, it was like five, six other people that ultimately got the can too. Yeah, and maybe. they only got the can because the video came out and people was like, what's good with these well, people? Them. Yeah, 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 and that group was the uh, EMT worker, I believe, a fire truck. Uh, yeah, they deserve to be fired because they showed up to the scene and nobody rendered any aid. Yeah, yeah, yeah I agree with that. Um, I agree. Oh, everybody, in this, everybody in this case is fired. I do, but, I, but I'm not going to sit here in front. Like, it's not like race at play, you know what I mean, um, because it's five black cops. And like I said, I have no sympathy for these dudes. I, they, what they did was wrong, but they're the Scorpion unit, right? And if I'm, that's yeah. like a, supposed to be some type of elite force uh, or, or unit that they have yeah, in Memphis. Yeah, that, that they have to, you know, stop crime, yeah. you know. 
And Memphis is like these are the type of squads that they do the movies and the shows after. You know they don't they don't have to you. follow all the rules, right? right. They right. they go. they're coming through and they gonna bash some heads and they gonna get results. There you go. <clears throat> but I think that's where society is at. It's like where Young Dolph, he's Memphis, right? Young Dolph. Yeah. Yeah. He was killed in Memphis, right? Mm-hmm. Like you got you got a murder like that, you know what I'm saying? And like broad daylight, something like that. And the society is like, yo, what the fuck's going on? Like you can't just have people killing people, celebrities in broad daylight. Like what's happening out here? Y'all gotta shut this shit down. We gotta have a force, and then you employ a force like this, right? Like that—that's the Scorpion unit, knowing that there's gonna be maybe not everything followed by the letter of the law. Right. You know what I'm saying? In order to get the results that that we need to get, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, ben Crump, to quote him once again, said they're referred to as the Jump Out Boys out there. You know what I'm saying? They they come through everybody scatters. You know what I'm saying? So it's like that's I think why The Wire was such a great show because. It, it there's, it's not as black as white as as black and white as good and evil. Mm-hmm. Like yo, we're the good guys and they're the bad guys. Like you know when we watch cartoons as a kid, it's it was like training day shit. Yeah, the cops got to get numbers. You know what I'm saying? The mayor got to get reelected. You know what I'm saying? So crimes are up. I right, scorpion unit time. You know what I mean? Get them in here and smash some heads. Now you got an overly aggressive unit out there that's operating more like a gang. And uh, you know what I'm saying? You get shit like this happening. Where you, like you t- you said, we don't even know why they pulled him over. You know what I'm saying? And what you thought he was high? You thought he was what you think he was drunk? Like it's like whatever you thought he was, that <laughs> like that level of you know what I'm saying coming out of like y'all a SWAT team like you know what I'm saying like it, it don't really make any sense. So um, you know what I mean I, I I don't I hope you can get answers out of this. You know what I mean? And more of a, a story coming out of it. I don't know. I, I ultimately I don't know what the big picture goal is because. The reality is, in these neighborhoods that these units are employed in, I mean, there's certain type of neighborhoods. These neighborhoods ain't going nowhere. Mm-hmm. The neighborhoods are going to still be there. The people are still going to be there. There's The people are still not going to like the cops. The cops still have to be in the area. There's always going to be that tension. And so it's just like, what do you, like it, it just makes for a bad situation. And so obviously this wasn't the first. This won't be the last. I don't see the solution. Be honest with you. No, that's that's, um, that's the sad and, part. And it's not. And I'll just say it from my. I, I do believe there are times where race can be a factor, but in my opinion, I, I think the overall is just more so about police culture. Mm. Um, because I put myself. I'm, I'm not racist, but if I'm a cop and my job is to stop crime or whatever the case may be, I'm gonna go try to do that to the best of my ability by any means. Cops are trained to apprehend. By any means necessary, and so it so it just creates a effed up situation, and I don't know that you there's much that can be done about that. Yeah, I agree, man, and uh, that brings us on to our next topic. Whenever my guy's in the building, you know we got to bring up one of my favorite uh, uh, segments. It's called "Put Some Respect on My Name," man. <laughs> Either got respect or a little bit of speculation for it. Put some respect on my name. Let's you know do what I'm it. Saying? Um, are you familiar with that video out of Georgia where a high school student gets into a, a fight with a teacher? I've seen that. Yeah, and then she ultimately, uh, the teacher has, has a break of the leg. Yeah. yeah. Uh, for anybody not familiar with the video, uh, it was taken from the perspective of the student. I heard there's different angles. I haven't seen the other angles. No, I only <laughs> seen one video. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh. And it was blurred, so I couldn't tell. I mean, I kind of guessed which one was the teacher. Because she's big. <laughs> It's not hard to tell which one's a teacher. Also, by the level of the way they're acting, right? Like, one is acting a little bit uh, more volatile than the other. So, when I seen it, it was just the fight part. I didn't see what led oh, up to it. Oh, you didn't watch it? I didn't see any of that stuff. Oh, you watch it. Bro. I just seen the actual <laughs> rumble. Oh. You're not going to talk to her like that. <laughs> But so yeah, so uh, we definitely seen the same video. You familiar with it? Um, what do you think? <laughs> like, do you think the like? I, first of all, I, mean, I said this last episode. We were talking about the six year old that shot the teacher in Virginia. I got the utmost respect for teachers and anybody that work in schools. That I don't have the patience to work with kids, man. No, like sure. one no, one not. is kicking my ass every day. <laughs> so I don't know how you deal with multiple that don't belong to them. Like yeah, that's I, I, another level. But that that video. 
that video reminds me of the, the what we were just talking about is if you got people that don't have a certain level of respect for authority, then you're gonna have to act, act with a certain level of aggression, right? That that it boils down to that plain and simple. But right, what's, if now we have a chicken or the egg uh, scenario where weren't we complaining a few years ago about the way that um, security guards were manhandling black girls and. <laughs> that was a good point too I was making, man. <laughs> I was getting I was getting prophetic with now. Um we were complaining about the way that security guards um were manhandling young black girls in school. So now, you know what I'm saying, we've we've hopefully gotten away from that. I don't know if we have. I haven't seen the statistics on it. And then you got videos like this where kids are attacking students, you know what I mean? Like excuse me, kids are attacking teachers. Like that that was like unheard of in my day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, to well, get, they was you because you, you were the crazy kid in the class getting the teacher's face exactly. like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it, it's a parenting issue. Yeah. It's a parenting issue, hands down. It's like, you know, these kids coming up, it, like, it's, you know, it's, 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 where, where's the parenting? Um, but to your point, I mean, with the whole, I was never one. Like, I understand the nature of the situation in terms of, you know, you have these disrespectful ass kids. What do you expect these adults to do? Mm. Right? Like, and so when it came to the security, like, you know, we seen several videos, you know, a few years ago with security guards manhandling. You know, while I don't like to see that, it, okay, what is the other option to get spat on in the face, get hit in the face? Yeah. And, and then, like, what do you want? Like, you're listen, not trained for that, also. You're not trained for yeah, that. Yeah, that's not like what you you went to a training course to do or. And at what point? Is it, oh, they're just a kid. Like, it's, these kids act grown, and... Listen, kids, I mean, it I, couldn't be me. Yeah. I, I'd put the shit I, I'm sorry. Like, I, I, I guess I'd go to jail. I, always look, I mean, I'm not a tall guy, so I always looked at it like, yo, these high schoolers get their ass beat. Like, <laughs> <laughs> approach me the wrong way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, um, nah, I guess what, what I want to know your opinion on, to see if you have respect or speculation, was um, Shorty got charged with criminal charges. Oh, the girl. Um, the young girl, yeah. Oh, good. I didn't know that. Yes. <laughs> yes. Respect 100%. 100%. Yeah, oh, here's my the other side of it, I'll say. Here's the, 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 the speculation side of it. I do think this young lady has to learn a lesson, and I do believe that the lesson should be strong enough to deter other students from doing the same type of thing because this behavior just can't occur. Which right? has to be harsh. It doesn't have to be jail. Oh, <laughs> so what else could it be? Detention? It could be uh, a lot of things. It could be she could be expelled. She could be you know what I'm saying like out the you're like you're not allowed to go to any school. So here. expelled. I don't know that that fixes the situation because you just you may go to another school and do the same shit. If you go to jail and do the same shit, and none, none of this necessarily so, fixes the situation. No, you see, so it's punishment but, for the kids, right? But mm -hmm. now, when kids are see, oh, they locking, they locking kids up for this, or oh, they locking people up for this, which which I agree with. Yeah, it's it's a great deterrent, and I, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm a little bit. The only reason that I'm a little bit, um, what's the word? You know, you know what I mean? I'm 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 torn between two outsides because. Yes, I think that, yes, the deterrence should be strong and it should be very, like, you know what I mean, uh, uh, strong enough to make other students be like, nah, 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 I ain't with the shits. However, I don't know if I want a mistake that I made at 14 years old in a moment of uh, adrenaline and, you know what I'm saying, to be like, how many kids got into, like, serious fights Right, but and I didn't think, go to jail? Right, but <laughs> you see, so she's 14. What she did is not, I don't think it's going to be anything that gets her charged as an adult. As an adult, or anything yeah, like yeah, that. She's going to have, but like, a record or, I guess, you know, it's, 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 probation it's, or It's going to be light. At the, when it's all said and done, it's going to be light. You know, her life isn't going to be ruined for this. I believe she will learn a lesson. Um, I hope It's just she's in the system. Lesson. I think that's just all, like, I, like, I, like I said, that's not the end of the world. There are, there are other, there's way bigger uh, consequences, you know what I mean? Other countries, I'm sure kids get worse, you know, kids get their ass beat <laughs> in the town square for touching the teacher, you know what I'm saying? So, in, to that regard, I just, like I said, I've made mistakes at 14 years old. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's unfortunate. That, yeah, yeah, they weren't lifetime mistakes. I made mistakes at 30 years old that ain't lifetime mistakes, and it's just like, for this young lady who maybe have, might have some type of mental issue, maybe might have some type of behavioral issue... I, not to say that this is an excuse, 
But another student in the classroom said, the teacher be talking crazy to <laughs> Like, you know what I'm saying? Some kids can only take but so much. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like, they're human beings too. So, well, whatever the case may be, you never put your hands on somebody because I understand the social norms. You understand the social norms. We get in the room, we understand this person as just as the authority. You know right. what I'm saying? They don't, they're not better than me. I'm not worse than them. However, they're leading the class. You give them the respect of the room. Not everybody understands those social norms. So maybe like, Somebody else could have came in and there could have been some type of intervention before this particular scenario had occurred. Um, but yeah, I, but like I said, you, you, you entitled to your opinion. And you find the parents. That I agree with. Find the parents too. <laughs> like it, it has to go both ways because at the end of the day, th- this scenario, it starts with a lack of parenting in my opinion. Yeah. Because like you said, like if we're in this, I know this is the teacher, the teacher's an authoritative figure. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to do no wild shit like that. Right. No matter how upset that I may, I, I I'll walk out. Right. I'll just walk out the classroom. Mm-hmm. You know, f you, teacher, before I and leave it at that or some yeah. shit like that. I'm not putting my hands on a teacher. Mm-hmm. You know, or another adult for that matter. Yeah. Period. Yeah. Like, you know, I was raised. You respect adults. Period. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, it's one of those things. Uh, Same thing with the six year old, the shooting. You know what I'm saying? Which, which is crazy because I like I, I don't think anything's happened to these parents as of yet uh, that I've heard. I don't even know what race this kid is, <laughs> because they just yeah, you know, know they keep the identity of the the minors. But just like it, it's in both cases, right? Uh, parenting now, parenting ain't easy. No. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Parenting hard. Parenting is a full time job. Parenting is like I said, kicking my ass <laughs> on a daily basis. So you know what I'm saying? Like it ain't easy, but there's also there's a difference between neglect and you know. Causing trauma to your kid as opposed to just dealing with the difficulties of uh, parenting. Uh, Spec. HBCU, historically black, you know, uh, institution, recruited a quarterback who used the (laughs) N-word. Albany State University, which I thought was our alma mater at first. I was like, you Albany? (laughs) Let me find out. But, uh, yeah, Historically Black University um, issued a scholarship to Marcus Stokes, who was white, uh, but last November a video emerged of him using the N-word um, while rapping along to the lyrics of a song, which, you know what I'm saying, some could dispute that how many other white kids or white people in the league have done this. He just was dumb enough to take himself. Right. <laughs> um, and post the video too, which I guess is a is a double failing of the stupid test. <laughs> but um, you know, you know, he's obviously a talent of some sort, right. and they extended a, um, a, a a scholarship offer to him, and then I guess rescinded it <laughs> and uh, oh, apologized. They rescinded it? Albany State University has yes uh, oh, because of the public. I don't reception. respect that part. <laughs> so you got a little speculation. What are you rescinding it for? Uh, yeah, they said three days later, um, after they, they, uh, well, he tweeted, he, he made it public that they, he received the offer from them, um, and head coach Quinn Gray, and then three days later, uh, Gray released a lengthy apology saying that, uh, the consequences of my action brought pain to our university. I was trying to get help. I was trying to help a student get back in competition. And in my haste, I did not consider the impact the decision would have on all of you. Uh, frankly, it wasn't my place to use ASU as the platform for redemption in this case. Um, obvious, you know, uh, folding to public pressure. Um, and, and that player, like him or not, you know, he starts offers from Alabama A&M and, uh, West Florida, or at least interest from those. Um, the only thing I think is fucked up is to offer and take it back. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you knew he's a yeah, I don't like that. And how many kids are, like, the league, like, uh, DiVincenzo, I think, who plays uh, in, in the NBA right now. When he was in, I think right after he won the, 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 the Final Four or whatever, they released a tape of him, or no, a tweet. They found a tweet of him using the N-word. And it's just like, these kids, it's in the hip-hop music. You know what I'm saying? They, they don't, not all of them have the common sense to realize that. But I think to make an offer and take it back is some bum shit. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> that's a little bit crazy. Yeah, I, I don't like that. And I, to be honest with you, I don't even, okay. Well, it's a whole nother topic, but like, you know, with the whole people... Let me, let me, I'm going to just say this. Uh-oh. At the end of the day, <laughs> all these artists, you know, entertainers, let's just say rappers, right? Mm-hmm. From the, from the beginning of time, the reality is white people support these people more than their own people. 
since the beginning of time. Yeah, just by sharing numbers, yeah. And at the end of the day, I don't. I'm, I'm not somebody who like. Okay, this group of people support the hell out of me. I'm rapping whatever. They're rapping along to my lyrics. There's in my mind, there is nothing wrong with that. Like, there's no somebody rapping lyrics to a song that they like. They're not. It's, there's no hate in that. Yeah, yeah they're yeah. just rhyming to the song that they like. You could tell the nuance. And, and so, yeah. you're telling they. You're saying they can't sing the fucking song. Like, I, I, I don't agree with. I've never agreed with that. Um, I, I do believe in nuance, right? There, yeah. there, there's a place for everything. You know, if you're just rapping a song, rock out. Like I don't give a shit. Um, you know, just he got hear it in the locker room. He got hear it on the team. He got hit, like, like here's the thing. There's a difference between you rapping it and then you using it in conversation. Exactly. Or, or even being dumb enough to use it in conversation, but even in a non hateful way. Like you could tell. Like there's a difference. You know when somebody's using it to offend black people. And when somebody thought that there was something they could, you know, get away with, you know what I mean? And there's correction. We don't have to, I'm not with cancellation, I'm with correction, you know what I mean? Or at least consultation. <laughs> Let somebody know, you know what I mean? Like, like where they can improve or what they can do better. Mm-hmm. Spec, last one, man. Respect and speculation. Ed Reed uh, was hired. Well, no, excuse me, not hired. He was interviewed by uh, another HS. B, uh, CU, oh, HSBC for some reason. <laughs> that's the bank. That's the bank. bank, right? <laughs> I did that same thing on the live earlier this week. I couldn't like I'm, H HBCU. Uh, Bethune Cookman. Um, he they had showed interest in uh, hiring as their head coach. Um, I guess they maybe gave, gave him a preliminary offer. Um, and they couldn't exactly come to the terms. And while they were still negotiating, um, Ed Reed decided to let people know how he felt by going to social media. <laughs> and uh, just letting out his frustrations in the university, the conditions of where the not only the student stayed, but how his office was, said that his office wasn't cleaned up, and that him and other members of his team had to pick up trash. Wait, I thought you said he was interviewed, so he got the job, or he received the, like so he had like an offer, but they were still coming to terms, like they, he didn't sign a contract. Okay, yet. and but it seemed like he was like they knew he was the man for the job, like okay. he was in there, like he was. Headlines were coming out that they came to an agreement, da 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 da. I think they were still working out, you know, right, the, fine, okay. the fine details. But he dropped the social media posts saying that, and they were sending the offer. So what was he saying in the post? <laughs> Basically, just talking about the conditions of, of I've heard about other um, historically black institutions right. as well as Bethune Cookman. Just Look like shit. I, yeah, exactly. You know, what I mean, the the they're not up to living, you know, par. Some of it unsafe. You know, what I mean, um, and he said that his office wasn't even cleaned out. Right. So I guess whoever the previous guy's stuff was still in there and shit was crazy. He and said that the social media with that. Yeah, <laughs> that's the thing. That I don't, like you could be mad and you could do the Dion thing and I guess fix things on the inside. Why you felt the need to go to social media with it? <laughs> I don't know, but I mean, now he's left without a job. They, they fired them. someone new. <laughs> so so you got respect for them? Yeah, I mean, how the hell I'm giving you a job and then you're going to come bash me? Like, come on now. Publicly. You, gotta, you got publicly. You got to know better. It's not that clearly, you know, the conditions aren't great, but you don't you don't come to bed with me and then bash me in, the, in front know, of everybody. Like, and I think he could have done so much more from the inside. And it's like you're – that's that same mentality that you were coaching the kids against, right? Mm-hmm. Like, don't run straight to the social media with your emotions, you know what I mean? Like, I actually just seen something this week that they, they're, the Surgeon General is saying that, like, 13 years old might be a little bit too young for social media. I, would, I wouldn't. I mean, it has to be. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just... 20. <laughs> 20. I like, think social be, media is like... <laughs> it literally should be like cigarettes, which I think is now 21. I was going to say 18. Maybe like a little bit better. Cigarettes are 21 now? I think so, yeah. Oh, or tobacco oh, products. Oh. Maybe, in, but I don't know if that's everywhere. But I think, yeah. Hmm. Tobacco products. Um, So yeah, whatever the case may be. But it should be like 18, maybe, I guess. Like, you know what I mean? 18 years old, you make it... Even that, you're not still not ready for it. Yeah, no. But it's... Because it gives you your own, like, I don't know how to explain it. I, it and, uh, 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 a person of my age could have image issues based on social media. So, you know, I can't even imagine in high school, like, when I was trying to just, couldn't even find my identity. No. Couldn't even find what I wanted to belong to having to deal with, like, a post not getting likes or right. somebody writing out a crazy comment trying to be just just funny, you know what I mean? So. Uh, Ed Reed, you should have known better on that one because sure. you could have done so much better from the inside, man. 
Uh, Smack, we're gonna move on to my favorite segment, dog. It's called Have You Heard? I hear things in the headline, I bring it to the table, see if my guy Smack has heard. Um, Pamela Anderson, she's she's back out here. I think she got a book. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, if I'm not mistaken. And definitely, she got a documentary that came out, I think, on Netflix. Mm. Uh, just talking about her life. Um, oh, I did see that. I did see the uh, preview for that. She's an interesting lady, you know what I mean? Um, cause I think she's a lot smarter than people uh, give her credit for, um, just because of the way she looks. And right. this, is, this is how our country works, you know what I mean? And uh, I think she was really honest at the beginning of her career. Um, and that's the thing that sucks with a lot of women. It's like she was honest about, I think, having you know a boob job or whatever. And then she just became that chick that everyone was like, oh, we could, we could just talk about her breasts. <laughs> so, like, any interview, you know what I'm saying, the first thing they do is bringing up her breasts or whatever, feeling weirdly comfortable to, like, talk to her about these type of things. But um, she worked on uh, Home Improvement. I don't know if you remember that. I do remember yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, in her book, I guess she said, Tim Allen flashed her on, like, their first day of working. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And, uh, you know, the excerpt came out in the news and... You know, Tim Allen, that's the Santa Claus right there. That's, yeah. that's Disney money right there. <laughs> so he was like, nah. nah. He responded to it? Yeah, yeah, he was like, yo, I don't know if she's trying to sell books. Because they, they still... I'm like, married. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, no, nah, they, I think they're, they still, they're friends. Like, she, oh, uh, she's she been on, like, his new show. You know, he has, like, a current show out now. That. It's, like, called Man of the House or something like yeah, that. Oh, yeah. That. She's been on that show. Before, okay. but, like, they're, 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 they're in good terms. Uh, he, he's like, yo, where this come from? Like, and 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 she's even come out and said, I, I didn't mean no harm. I'm not trying to get him canceled. I was that's literally like that was part of my book. It's part of my story or whatever. And he said something to the effect like, well, I've seen you naked, so now you've seen me naked. Mm. In her, according to her, allegedly, allegedly, according to uh, Pam's story. Um, so he denied it, and he's denied. It, so yeah. somebody's lying. He's probably lying. So now a <laughs> clipper surface. <laughs> um, you know about Home Improvement I don't remember back in the day uh, they would have bloopers at the end they were like a lot of shows had that yeah. like at the end they had a blooper reel so now clips were surfacing because you know the, the reruns probably play on one of these stations all day he's wearing a kilt and <laughs> he flashes his wife on the show and they they included it in the blooper reel ah. <laughs> and now so now it's like Hold on, you didn't. You just said you hundred percent know for a fact you would never do anything like that, and now we got your court. So then she had to come out and be like, he was he wasn't naked under there. He had he was covered. <laughs> and she's like, I don't can't speak on that other stuff because I wasn't there for all that. Like y'all gonna have to uh, you know answer that. They gonna have to answer it, but it don't look good when you say you didn't do something and then evidence pops up of you doing said thing just to someone else. <laughs> um, so I don't know how that's gonna work out. Um, I don't know how I feel about that culture either. Like, if we friends, right? Like, I'm still giving you work. Not that she needs Pamela Anderson needs his right. guest appearance on his show, you know, to to make ends meet. But I'm, we still in business together. I think you should give me a heads up if I'm in your book. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, give me a chance to prepare for this. And unless she didn't think nothing of it, I mean, but she knows the the, the climate that we're in nowadays and she knows like your book sells based off of the excerpts right. that people put out there I think yeah, she I mean, knows yeah I mean if we're cool I mean I, it, it warrants a hey just so you know yeah cause you're gonna do it anyway right, right. yeah apparently but I think that'd be nice to know <laughs> to prepare for or <laughs> not make me have a full she was probably you know, cause then he gonna try and make me take it out yeah <laughs> you messing up that Disney money now <laughs> Uh, Speck, have you heard? I mean, I gotta get your opinion on this, man. I know you've seen the LeBron call missed all around the world. <laughs> LeBron goes for the layup. Jason Tatum hits him right on the wrist, man. Uh, the referees dropped a full tweet apologizing for missing that call. I, see that. <laughs> I, I mean, that's not the. I think actually that might be the first. I don't think I ever seen a referee account tweet. No, they no they they. Um, I seen the NBA tweet for like the end of game stuff, but <clears throat> no, they yeah. have um. I've I've seen it before. You don't see it often, um. But I mean, this was just one of those situations. You know, it was so blatant and yeah. missed that they had to come out and you know. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't think they do that for everyone. 
And then they, 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 the tone of voice in the tweet. It sounded like they, like they, like they scared and sad. <laughs> like everyone else, referees make mistakes. We made one at the end of last night's game, and it's that is gut wrenching for us. This play will weigh heavily and cause sleepless nights as we strive to be the best referees can be. Honestly, that should seem sarcastic. <laughs> <That's> just, <laughs> they came out with it because I mean everybody was like upset about it. Yeah. I mean, I guess I mean. It, I think sometimes if you've seen LeBron's reaction, you would have thought it was Game Seven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think the fact that, I, and I don't even, I think it's gotten enough attention. I'm, I, I don't even really want to even keep giving it that much attention. I'm more so like. The tweet is just soft. Like, why would you even? <laughs> I kind of hope that they kind of like being sarcastic and tongue in cheek with it, because it's just like, why are y'all coming out with it? But like to your point, like that, it don't even matter. And then what's the other thing that that's the Lakers is popping us? We like Westbrook said, just just go out there and have fun, or some shit like that. And then LeBron, um, and, uh, like LeBron wasn't with it. You know what I'm saying? I don't think it was that same game though. I think it was um, it was like that same week. Real greedy, man. Real greedy. Real greedy, man. We got on three. Keep having fun, bro. Yes, sir. You happy for the next man? Keep having fun, bro. Yes, Win, lose, draw, have fun. Yes, Just keep having fun, bro. Yes, Let's go, man. Yes, no. Or whatever. And I see something like he uh he gave him a pound, but it was like it seemed kind of like dismissive. Oh, really? I was like, I'm just making anything up now for the Lakers just to give him. Let, let the Lakers be the Lakers. They're going to do it on their own. Like, we ain't got to sit here and, like, you know what I mean, cause strife and cause uh, cause nonsense. Like, it is. Where they at in the in the West? Where they at, dude? They're in like eleven or twelve, but they're only four games. So because it's a playoff. So to, well, no. Play so whatever, right? from the fourth spot yeah. all the way to the twelfth spot is only separated by four games. Really? Okay. Yeah. So I mean, it's it's jam. They got a fighting chance. They got a fighting chance. But yeah, yeah, like yeah. the the four through twelve, um, all have horrible records, like twenty plus losses, mm. and so um, they're all, that's why they're all bunched up. Got you, got like you. that. Um, so yeah, well, I mean they're in it. They're right in the thick of things. What's the All Star game well. set up this year? What do you mean? What's the setup? Like there's usually two captains, right? Like, who, yeah. Is it LeBron? And another one? Or this year I don't even know who the captain. Is. <laughs> <laughs> I was on. I thought you might. I was wondering myself. Um, and then I heard something like they're doing like a tip off. Like that's how they choose the team. Like the teams will be decided day of. Okay, I didn't. Yeah. I, I didn't know the um the format. I wasn't paying attention. Let me look this up before I put out fake information out here to the world. Hold on, because <laughs> it's coming up soon, right? It's uh, Next week. It's, no, it's the fourteen. Super Bowl got to be first. No, it can't be the same week as Super it's Bowl. The fourteen. No way. <laughs> no way. Fake news. No, nah, <laughs> it's like the fourteenth of February. Super Bowl. Nineteenth. Nineteenth. Oh, yeah. Because the Super Bowl Cause the Super Bowl's the twelfth. Oh. Remember they added another week to the to the thing. Mm. But yeah, I think they I'm trying to see. What are they doing? Uh let's see the setup for this shit. Is this it? Team Giannis and Team LeBron. Okay. That's what I thought it was. Um And then they got all the reserves. Thirty NBA coaches select the reserves. LeBron and Giannis, uh, uh, captains. For the first time, the draft will take place right before the game. The two team captains will draft the team rosters. The team LeBron and team Giannis from the pool of players voted as starters and reserves in each conference. Okay, so it's like what you do on the ball court. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They try to give it more of that feeling. So it's like a player pool or whatever. We'll see. I mean, they got to do something. They've been trying every yeah. year to, you know what I mean, get, get more and more creative with it. So we'll see. That's the thing with the NBA, I think, a little bit, is especially with that stat we seen the other day where LeBron and KD haven't played against each other since 2018, December. Mm -hmm. That takes away, that devalues the regular season to the point where sometimes I feel like, I mean, I, I already feel like I don't have to start watching until after Christmas. You know what I mean? And then it's just like, sometimes you just feel like you don't really have to get into it until playoff, close to playoff time. I mean, you know what I mean? Because... You might want to see a matchup like that regular season, but you you, you got to hope that they meet each other in the playoffs and right. see shit like that. So it kind of takes away from their product. But I also understand it from the player's perspective. But also, I mean, the, the, there's a reason that they haven't just not played against each other. No, right? the injuries. Right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they weren't avoiding each other. That. Yeah. But, I mean, I, wanna, I, w I think everyone would like to see them play against right, each yeah, other. I mean, yeah. Why not? Um, Spec, have you heard? After the Cowboys lost... The uh, Cowboys account went to Twitter and kind of roasted Dak. I see. <laughs> Said, and I quote, Dak Prescott gave the ball, 
sorry, excuse me, Dak Prescott gave away the ball twice in a narrow loss to the 49ers, and in a matchup, the Cowboys had a chance to win if they didn't, again, generate self-inflicted wounds. From the team that pays you. <laughs> yeah, I, I, and I think that's, they that's kept it up. Weird. I don't think they took it down. Yeah, that's, that's a weird one. Um, well, first of all, what's with these accounts that like act like real people? <laughs> we just gonna start like making opinions and and having sarcastic quips and shit like that. They like, be funny sometimes. They do, but it's one dude, it's one nigga, <laughs> and you gotta walk through the whole office like, is this him? Is, is he the social media? <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. I've never seen nothing like that. I get being salty after a loss, but that's... I wonder if there was any disciplinary, like, because it's kind of like, how do you do that? But they didn't take it down. If they took it down, yeah. I would have thought, like, yeah, maybe disciplinary action, but it's like, nah, we want we want, we want this we want stuff. To see <laughs> We're going to stuff your shit up. Uh, man, who you got with 49? No, excuse me, uh, Eagles and Kansas City in the playoffs. Uh, excuse me, in the Super Bowl, right? Rihanna, halftime. I don't know. It's going to be a good one. I wouldn't mind. Uh, That's going to be a good one. Two um, black quarterbacks. Yes. I, 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 I have to go with Kansas City. Yeah, right? Eagles been. Uh, they have. They've been. They've been beast mode all, all year, bro. Oh, wait. I'm bugging. It, it's, it's Philly, not 49ers. Yeah. Oh. Um, I feel it's 49ers. <laughs> if it was 49ers. They got their third string quarterback. I, I <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, I, I would. Yeah. I. To be honest with you. I don't know. It's, I mean, a, it's a toss up. No, I kind of want to say Philly's Eagles. Been killing it. Yeah, I, and I like Jalen Hurts. I like them since college. Um, and the NFC East, right? But I don't want to do the same thing that the the Empire State did, which is my next have you heard, man. Empire State lit the fucking Empire State building up. Eagle Green. <laughs> after they won, after they, they they made it to the Super Bowl. Did they? Yeah, after Why? the NFC Championship. Did. <laughs> Just to show love. Are you sure it was that, that it was to symbolize Phillies. One hundred percent, because it wasn't Jack Green. <laughs> it was Eagle Green, and then they, to make it worse, even if there would have been any doubt after people started complaining, like, "Yo, how you gonna do this?" That's our rivals, you know. If you share for the Giants, um, they made it Kansas City red, <laughs> red and uh, yellow for you know what I mean at the at the night when Kansas City won. It's like, what? We don't give a fuck about yeah. that. <laughs> Come on, we New York City. What are you doing? Like, especially the Eagles. Like, that's right next door, right, bro. Yeah, that's, that's definitely rivals. That's weird. This is new, like, type of, like, thing. Like, oh, yo, we in the same division. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because I think Michael Parsons said it to uh, somebody on the Eagles, too. Like, go win one for the division. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the way you go to war with. Right. Like, what is going on? Go win one for us. <laughs> the whole division yeah. don't win this shit. <laughs> talking about man mm -hmm. I, football football getting soft man <laughs> y'all gotta step it up man uh spec have you heard conor mcgregor was hit by a car while riding a bike oh, i didn't hear about that yeah man i seen it on tmz the video emerged it was right after he got hit his bike was mangled you know what i mean he was his pants were ripped i don't i don't even know like i want because no one has video of it but I guess he was driving, the, the car was driving into was like this in ireland or was this america i think it's in ireland because okay. the guy had an accent um the driver of the car, uh, but it, it, I think he was driving a hill, and you know when the sun is in your eyes, you can't fully see over it. Yeah, I guess he and maybe kind of jumped off at the last second. Mm -hmm. uh, but the guy even gave Connor a ride uh -huh. <laughs> afterwards. Connor was Connor was grateful. Connor's like, yo, I'm just happy to be alive. He's just he's on his phone. He's taping the whole thing. Like, yo, look what just happened. Like, but you could tell he was like just happy to be right, alive. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, not upset or nothing like that. That's cool. That's yeah. yeah. No, nah, it was it was and and. and it's that close, you know what I mean? It's, it's that serious, like, like you know what I mean? Life life can get away from you like that, so, you know what I mean? You got to be grateful for every moment. So, uh, you think you're going to see Conor fight again? I don't see why. So like, rich, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah like, He's making money yeah, off of everything else. And, <laughs> I, I, I doubt it. And he looks um, uh, steroided up. Oh, does he? I mean, he's huge. You know, he's got... <laughs> I haven't seen the picture. I mean... Not not in this video particularly, but I've seen videos no, in, not in past months. No, I, I do think because his last fight was a loss, I think he'll come back at least one more time. Oh, uh, just to end on top? Yeah. yeah. yeah I, I think he'll come back to fight at least one more time. Oh, was that... He was injured, right? That last one that was... Yeah. Was that he, the one we watched here? Yeah. Oh, I don't... I don't know if we watched it here. Yeah. But yeah, he did get injured. Like, he hurt his leg. Got you, got you, man. Uh... Back, have you heard? R. Kelly had his charges dropped in the state of Chicago. Yeah, he had some um, uh, state charges dropped. Um, financial reasons, right? 
the state said he's already serving uh, a pretty lengthy sentence. Federal where he's at, um, it would cost money, obviously, to try him, jury trial, things of that nature that they feel like those resources are better used somewhere else. I guess the only place that I feel a little bit weird about this is the victims. Like, well, yeah, I mean, that, that's <laughs> what it boils down to. The victims aren't going to get their day in court and, and shit like that. So, and if on some uh, Bill Cosby type loophole shit, that if he finds his way out of other charges, uh, which I don't, I don't, think I don't think he, he will, will. But I'm just saying, right now he yeah. has, you know, cleared. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, so it's just like. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I don't foresee R. Kelly getting out. Um, I don't think this is a victory for him at all. You know what I'm saying? No, it's not really. A victory. Yeah, probably just less embarrassment to his name and his family's name. Um, but yeah, um, I understand why why it was done. Like I said, I do feel for the victims though that they don't get their day in court because sometimes that's all you get. Right. Yeah. So, um, spec one last one, man. Have you heard? <laughs> uh, Big Lotto, you familiar with the rapper Big Lotto? Yes. Uh, she was uh, called out this week because uh, fan. And this is just that that corny internet like hater mentality. Somebody had two different photographs of her uh, with low cut jeans on and the same underwear, like cheetah print showing. Okay. <laughs> so they were like. Someone can't afford new drawers. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? One of those type of tweets. Like, you can't afford new drawers. And Lotto responded, uh-oh, here come the panty police. <laughs> so Lotto, you know what I mean, being a businesswoman that she is, actually put it up on eBay. Uh, started selling her panties on eBay. And <laughs> you wouldn't be surprised at the, the level of weirdos out there. I've heard some even going for like 15 racks, bro. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, that doesn't surprise me. That, that is... That is genius. Now, because, we and I talked about it. Okay. That is... Wait, about the Lotto situation? No. About, like, there's people out there, they like underwear. That's a thing in um Japan, I think. There's, like, vending... I think there's I vending machines. Japan, there's a thing here. People, like... Yeah, like, but there's not vending machines. I think oh, there's no, vending... No, no, no. <laughs> Literally, like, used underwear, like, vending machines in Japan. But, like... No, yeah, to your... Those, um... A lot of OnlyFan um, oh, girls, yeah, yeah. I think, sells, like, like your porn stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's... Hey, if, if it's out there, there's a business to be made off it, I can't knock it. But I just like Lotto. I like Lotto in general. I think she's a dope artist. But um, and just the way that she handles internet hate, I think it's dope. Because um, now they, they coming for these girls nowadays. If, if that's rapping. Like, they got nothing better to do to hate on them all day. So it's like, you gain a little bit of weight. They got something to say. You you skinny. They got something to say. They right. got, it's like, they, they got nothing to, So I like when people come up with creative ways to handle it. And she ain't have to go sell her body, you know what I'm saying, sell pictures and do all types of stuff on OnlyFans to make his money off it. So right. shout out to Big Lotto, you know what I mean? Big Tings of Guam, man. Yo, Spec, that's another episode in the books, my brother. It's always a pleasure having you in a building, especially on this windy-ass day. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, where can my people find you on social media, bro? Can't. Get. Yeah. Not yet. Not yet. It's coming, though, man. <laughs> find him find out here, you know what I'm saying? Rock with your man, uh, DJ Playboy, on Twitter, at DJ Playboy, on Instagram and TikTok, at Plickapeezy. P-L-I-C-C-A-P-E-E-Z-Y. Also follow Perfect Talk Podcast on Instagram at Perfect Talk Radio. Also on Twitter at Perfect Talk. There's a new account we just started. Shout out to everybody rocking with us on the YouTube. Make sure you know do what, Spec? Smash that like button. You know what I mean? And that subscribe button. You know what I mean? Make sure you know notifications all that every time we drop a new episode. Because yes, uh, we doing it real consistently for y'all this year, man. Every episode can be found on our website, www.perfecttalkpodcast.com. Also, my radio show that I do with my guy, DJ Show, Money Talks Radio. Do episode dropping. I think shh, I might be up tonight, you know what I mean, releasing that one to y'all. So look forward to that. Uh, and then uh, my other radio show, The Night Shift, coming back this year. So make sure y'all keep an eye out for that. Uh, also, every episode of Perfect Talk Podcast is available on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, SoundCloud, iHeartRadio, Spotify. Like we said, YouTube, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Um, and we just gonna keep doing the damn thing. Um, yes, every sir. Wednesday, check me out on Instagram with my homegirl, Ayo Niche. Ayo Friends Day, Ayo Niche and Friends. Uh, it's like a live podcast going down. So go follow Ayo Niche, A Y O N I S H, every Wednesday at 8 p.m. We going live talking about all types of things. So, you know what I mean? Stay tuned, stay tuned. Uh, Deuces, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, hold on. Before we get up out of here, man, I can't ask you what you're watching nowadays. <laughs> I know you're doing a lot of reading. I know you're doing a lot of reading. You back in the gym yet? Nah. Trying. It's, tw- <laughs> it's trying. 2023, man. It's 2020. We on our way to 40. We on our way to 40, man. Nah, I'm the same boat, man. I actually, you know, got back in the gym recently, but that the winter hits, bro. It's hard to get in there, bro. And then I, I like summertime because that's when I was riding my bike a lot. I like doing the other activities. 
sometimes just working out, working out doesn't, you know, mentally like right. keep you into it all the time. But uh, so uh, I say all that to say I'm tired of winter. <laughs> For real. But it, ha- you, it hasn't been too bad. It has not. It has not. We, yeah, we've struggled a lot more snow in, uh, in past years and, and stuff like that. But that groundhog just seen a shadow, but he say six more weeks. It, I, I, I don't know what's worse. Sometimes that bit of cold, like today, between like around like between 2.30 and 3.30 today, the temperature just took a, a dip, bro. Yeah, sure, <laughs> it was like good. some, it was next, it like it literally hurt to walk from the supermarket to my car. And I don't know, man. I, I, it went I, from like nine to zero. Yeah, yeah like time. mad quick, bro. <laughs> and I felt it, like I felt like I, I had the nerve to not have my gloves on. I'll never do that again. But uh, I say all that to say, man, we need some warm weather, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I need a, I need, I think I might need a Florida, LA type of lifestyle because I don't know how many more winters I could do, bro. It's getting hard on my bones, man. <laughs> but yo, we up out of here, man. Always a pleasure having you here, brother. Yes, sir. Say goodbye to the people. Deuces. Peace.